one second. That cut out section that was really only about that big on the piece downstairs actually extended from here to the other end of the there. Um, obviously, we need a lot of work inside. It's going to cost a lot of money to spruce it up. What's that little thing? This over here is a personal steam sauna. Oh. So you would wrap yourself, see in that wood? As you can see, more fire suppression. There were, there's a fire hose at the top of the steps, which still hangs. And then this one, with which the, the hose has been removed. But uh, no shortage of fire protection. Yeah, we've been here a couple times before, but we've never been able to see the inside. and. We were lucky enough to get one of the, or two of the 150 <laughs> tickets to, to explore inside. Yeah, yeah, just like hearing about their life, um, seeing like the, gla the glass work, the design, knowing why they designed certain things the way that they did. But yeah, even just getting to learn about the history a little bit more um, and the origins of how the property got donated and all that stuff, it was really interesting to learn. Um, 600 acres was a lot of acreage that they were able to acquire too. It's beautiful set in, you know, this area. It's hard to imagine that you come around a turn and then it, it's so beautiful. Well, I've been coming here and like walking the grounds for, for a couple of years now, so it was really nice to finally be able to see the inside of it. I've always been curious, so just all of it was great. It'll be interesting to see what the restoration is in the future. And I was really surprised to see that a lot of the stuff is still intact, even though it was abandoned for such a long time. Three bedrooms upstairs in the bathroom. Uh, all of the homes inhabited by the Johnstons, which were built for the Johnstons, had servants' quarters. 